In this video, I'm going to show how to replace the zipper in a pair of pants. Life is hectic, so I don't upload on a regular basis, so please hit the bell to be notified when I do. When replacing a zipper in a pair of pants, be sure you get the right kind of zipper. These have locks on them so that they don't unzip when they're up. That would be kind of embarrassing. Also be sure that it's at least long enough. If it's a lot longer, there's no problem being able to just cut it shorter and put a stop in it. Just be sure that it's not too short. Okay, now I'm gonna start opening this up. This little spot right here is usually going to be sewn very, very well. You can see how many times it's gone over. It's because it's a support, so it needs to be sewn very, very well. So as you're seam ripping this out, take your time, go slow, and just be careful not to rip the fabric. Okay, as I'm pulling this up, you'll notice there's no stitch on this side. It's because this is stitched to this, so this will also need to be pulled up so that we can put those back together at the end. This part we'll just we'll have to work around. Okay, now these threads are the ones that are physically holding the zipper on. Before I take that off, I'm going to come over here and do this side. This is that other stop for the other side, so again, go slow so that you don't tear the fabric. Okay. 
That side is free. And then we'll take this off. And it's now out. If we look at this zipper, you can see this is the back side of the zipper. This is the back side of this one, so it's going to lay like this. So I'm going to remove this and stick this in here. Just tacking it in place. Now if you look at it, this is the back side of the zipper. Flip it over. So this is the front side of the zipper. See, this is the front side, so I'm flipping this this way so it's in the same direction. A little bit left. Putting it right here. Just temporarily tacking it. The way this pair of pants was put together is they went through all the layers at one time. On this side. So I'm going to do the same thing when putting this one in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all of this loose thread. I don't want to sew on top of the loose thread because then it just looks tacky when you're done. You can actually see where the old stitch line is. So that's where I'm lining it up because this pair of pants fit. So I don't want to alter them, I'm just replacing the zipper. Going all the way down. Okay, let's see if I 
I'll give you a close up of that. After we sew this in, then we'll come back and pin this where it needs to be. This was just a temporary tack. I'm going to use the narrow zipper foot. Now if you see, the needle's actually coming down right in the center of this, so we have to move the needle. For my machine, I put it in the far left position, and that allows me to move it over further from the center. gets down to here it gets a little tricky you just have to move your fabric around some okay I did remove just a few more stitches about this much down here sometimes I don't need to go that far down this time I did this is a pretty thick fabric now we also need to get this moved out of the way so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to leave the needle in the down position I'm going to lift up my foot and then I'm going to remove the foot. So I took the foot off, turn these sideways. And that let me get the zipper past this to go up. Turn it back around. And with thick fabric, sometimes you just got to work with it and get the foot back on. Now I can continue to sew. One thing I didn't point out earlier when you're stitching this side down, or either side actually. 
you need to, you're going to have to re-sew this up here so when you're sewing the zipper on make sure this flap is out of the way because if it's down when you stitch this zipper you're going to stitch this down and then you'll have to seam rip this off and then redo it so before you start stitching your zipper at the top be sure that the inner flap and the outer one is out of the way and start stitching from there All right, so now that we've got that side done I want to make sure that this side is pinned in the correct spot earlier all I did was just temporarily pin it to make sure that I had the zipper facing in the right direction There's my stopper. I'm putting this in here. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see the old stitch line that runs down through here. Since these pair of pants fit, I'm going to place on the other side of the zipper, right down through here, right on this stitch line, so that it's the same size. And when I pin, I'm not going to pin all the way through. I'm only going to pin through this layer. Would you like me to get you some, or are you going to get some later? Are you filming? And that was my husband concerned. I haven't eaten dinner yet, but anyways. <laughs> so after I've pinned the zipper, before I stitch it, I'm going to zip it up just to be sure it looks like it lays right. And it looks like it's just right. Can you see that? No. Okay. So now from here, I'm going to zip up, sew up the other side. And sewing this up the zipper on this side, now we have to contend with this. So we'll have to manipulate this a little bit. Now all these stitches have been pulled, so this comes out. So that we can move everything out of the way. Give me a second while I straighten this up. Okay, I had to move the camera a little bit. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a faint stitch line, the previous stitch line that I'm going to be following. There.
now I want to get that out of the way. I'm going to do it the same way as I did before. I'm going to leave the needle down, remove the, zip, the um, zipper foot, and then pull, rotate the pants, and then pull this out of the way. Just a little trick if you're having trouble getting your fingers up under here to get this to pull. A pair of needle nose pliers works wonders. Now that it's out of the way, I can continue sewing to the end. Now I'm going to go all the way back to the top and make a second stitch on this side. Okay, now the zipper is in and it's laying correct, but we still have a few little things to deal with in order to get the pants back together. Okay, to sew up this part, it's this and this is one together. So the easiest way for me to see it is I grab this side and I grab this side and the underside and pinch them together. And when I turn it inside out, I can see that it's this seam line and this seam line. So I'm going to pin these, make sure this is out of the way. And I'm going to stitch on that line. This side. And this side. Okay, now that's stitched back together. I did use the zipper foot because of all this bulk. laying really nice. I will sew a stop right here. Remember that really zigzaggy heavy-duty stop should go right here. I'll do that later. Now we need to put this back together. So the first part that we're going to sew on this is attach this to this part. In order to do that, I'm going to hold it Steel while I flip it over. Get this out of the way. I'm reaching down in here to where the seam allowance is.
And then we'll stitch that seam allowance across there. Since this is just a straight stitch, I'm not going to show me doing that, but you can see the old stitch line. Just do a straight lock your stitch, do a straight stitch all the way to the end. That's where I stopped seam ripping it, and then lock stitch there. Okay, so here's the straight stitch I just did. I did use the zipper foot, and the reason being is because of that. You can see that this part is back together. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, actually, I didn't have to take that one apart. Awesome. Okay. So for this side, every pair of pants is slightly different. It depends on how they've been put together, the style of the pants, all kinds of things. Now this is slightly too long, so I'm going to clip this. there. Okay, so now I'll push that back up in there. I'm going to pin this. This is all put together, so I just need to stitch this down, pin that, and then we'll go over and do our lock stitches. Now when stitching this part, we're going to be doing a stitch in the ditch, and I will be using one of the foot, um, one of the feet that came in that kit that works for doing stitch in the ditch. Okay, in the kit, this is called an edging foot, but I'm going to use it today as a guide for stitch in the ditch. As you can see it's got that guide down the center. Now I'm going to, you can see how it springs that way some. So the way I'm going to use this, is since I want to stitch on this side and this is raised, I'm going to put the raised side on the left side of this guide. Although the camera's in the way, so hang on a second. I'm going to go carefully over that zipper. And that stitch in the ditch.
And moving all this to the side. follow this old stitch line around making sure this side is out of the way and this is laying flat my button foot. Put it on zigzag stitch and shorten the stitch length. Remember, whenever doing this, always hand crank your machine first. See, it's going to hit. And that's how you replace a zipper in a pair of pants. If you like these videos, please subscribe and hit the little thumbs up button and also give me some comments too. I do listen to comments and it gives me an idea of what to do next. Thanks.